So people call you Benzo. Shall I call you Benzo? You can call me Benzo. All right. Is that that's what everyone calls you, right? That is. I don't know how that came about, but in the last couple of years, people just started calling me Benzo or Benson, and then Benzo was the name. All right. Benzo is the name-o. Benzo is the name-o. And we have never met, and it's, I don't know how, there's so many things that shoot on this lot, and I never run into anybody, because we're all in our own studios working, but you, like, are right we're across. We're right across from you. I'm always like, where is she? Is she here? Is she yeah. here? And I've never seen you. I ride bikes around a lot. Do you ever ride bikes? I want a bike so bad, and we've been asking for a golf cart. We got one golf cart, but I want my own, and I want to say, like, Benzo. Uh-huh. And then uh, I'll be hopefully driving around, but the producer said no, so oh, I still have to work on that. Well, get a bike, because that's good exercise, and it's fun, because you can get, go all over the place, bike. and they're shooting different things. It's really fun. <laughs> So you're, uh, you've been acting since you were a child. How, how old were you when you started Days of Life? I started around 13 or 14. On so Days? So young, yeah, on Days. For how long? I was there for about five years. Wow. Yeah. Did you was... like that? Because that's a, that's a lot of memorization for a kid, right? Yeah, well, being on a soap opera the first day, I didn't really know that you only had like two takes. So when the first day I had, I had monologues for about 10 pages, thought I could just do like, Okay, one scene, and then we'll take a break. You have to do every scene because we're doing three episodes a day. So I had 80 pages, and I was like, oh my god, I hope I don't forget my lines. And I was working with my mom and my dad on the show. We've been on there since they were 16 years old. And I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. But yeah. I did it. But it's amazing. Uh, I think people don't know soap operas. They're really great training because you don't have much time to memorize your lines, and they shoot so much in a day that it's a great training ground for an actor. Yeah, well, now when I go on my show, we have like five pages a day, so maybe like a couple lines here and there. I'm like, ah, right. oh, this is easy. Yeah. So people, if they don't know the show, tell everyone what Pretty Little Liars is about. Um, so the show's about four girls who their friend goes missing, and we started getting haunted by this girl named A, or It. Um, and it's just about people getting killed almost every episode, then people bring, being brought back to life. And uh, yeah, now hopefully everyone kind of knows who A is. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully you'll be able to see what he looks like. And you're now in prison. You're I'm in, in prison. You're, yeah. So the best, best thing in the world, because I get to wear an orange jumpsuit for most of the time. So you don't have to worry about wardrobe or anything. Yeah, my character's very stylish. She's always in heels, and I'm more of like Converse jeans type of girl. So being in an orange jumpsuit with no hair and makeup is my dream. I'm like, please keep me in jail the entire wow. rest of the show. That's please. <laughs> That would be the beauty of jail. You don't have to worry about what to wear every day. So that's great. So there's always an upside to everything. You, you know, you have to look at the bright side. Yeah. Um, I saw pictures of your dogs. You have two dogs, right? I do. Olive and, and Walter. Ol Oliver and Olive. Olive and Walter. All right. Oh, they're so sweet. So now, is one a Lhasa Apso and one a Brussels Griffon? One's a Brussels and one's a Maltese Shih Tzu mix. I see. And then the, the Brussels, they're, they're hilarious. They have a hilarious personality, don't they? They're so weird. The first time that I got him, my manager has one, and that's why I ended up getting a Brussels. And he was just so, they just don't want to miss out on anything. My Olive is very chill, and she likes to sit on the couch. My other dog, Walter, is bouncing up and down 24 seven, has to be on you at all times. And if he's not on me, he's on top of Olive, sitting on her. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, your granddad, I know your grandfather yes. is a, a huge fan, so what is, is his name? His name is Bill. He literally wants to marry you. Uh, well, <laughs> he watches your show every day, and he, like, if he misses it, his whole day is ruined. That is so sweet. Well, Bill, uh, I'm not going to marry you, can't, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, you're very sweet for watching the show every single day. Thank you so much for, for liking the show, and uh, you have a great granddaughter. Aww. And next time, let's uh, try to ride bikes, because we got you a bike. You did? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Hi. That's so awesome. That's so <laughs> That is so and look. This is so amazing. I have something Ooh. else, but I'll give it to you, I guess you not are the now. Sweetest. Oh my gosh. This All is right. Amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, come on out. Do you have uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, stop. This is so crazy. Oh my god, that's so cute.